standing in a soybean test here on the Fayetteville campus at the University of Arkansas. And this is a research project that we have among 15 weed scientists across the U.S. Uh, US. This is a USDA-funded project to understand the importance and value of cover crops in suppressing weeds across the U.S. with somewhat of a focus on our pig weeds. Obviously here in Arkansas, we have extreme interest in Palmer amaranth. In other locales across the U.S., the focus is going to be on, on water hemp, uh, the common pig weed in the Midwest and even portions of the Northeast. The purpose of this trial is to look at Six weeks prior to planting so, uh, soybean as a termination timing versus four weeks and even two weeks, trying to produce as much biomass as possible from a cereal rye cover crop. What we saw in this trial was that the closer that we could get to soybean planting, the more biomass that we could produce and the better suppression that we could get of Palmer amaranth. When we terminated our cover crop two weeks prior to planting, we saw 50% or better reduction in Palmer amaranth emergence in these plots. Now, when you look at across here, you notice that there are some areas in the field in which there is no pigweed or Palmer amaranth and other areas in which it is present. And those are basically our plots. The areas in which it's clean, we had a herbicide program that involved pre-emergence herbicides followed by two post-emergence herbicides in conjunction with our cover crop that was terminated two weeks prior to planting. When we back that up and look at terminating six weeks prior to planting, we don't produce enough biomass from our cover crop and we get minimal effect of a cover crop in terms of suppressing Palmer amaranth emergence. Now, you may also look at this and ask, well, how large was the cover crop at the time of planting? The cover crop that was terminated two weeks prior to planting with a single glyphosate application would have been five and a half to six feet tall at the time of planting. And then you might ask, well, what do you, how do you plant into that standing material? We used a conventional planter. There's actually beds in this field, which is typical for crop production in Arkansas on a 38 inch row spacing or bed. And we planted using a conventional planter that involved a, a, um, a coulter, a single coulter in front of the planter, followed by two double disc openers. And that was the extent of the planting equipment that we had. Of course, a press wheel on the back of the, of the planter. Uh, we had no issues with establishing a, a stand of soybeans uh, late in the year here, we do have a little bit of lo lodging in this field, uh, which is a, appears to be a function of the variety. But overall, where we have integrated cover crops with our herbicides, what we have done is we have reduced the selection pressure of pigweed in response to herbicides through integrating the cover crops into the system.